Hey guys, Jim here from Carolina Outdoor Magazine TV. I want to take just a few minutes to show you where we're going to be fishing with Alan Greer tomorrow when he gets down here on Friday. Right now we're at the Richard B. Russell Dam facility here. This is a really nice facility and I want to take you down. I want to show you the dam a little bit and show you where we're going to be. But I just want to kind of show you around a little bit here so you can see a little bit about uh, you know what's uh, what's going on here the dam facility and uh, it's just a real nice place they have a, a really nice part now you have to excuse me I'm gonna be walking into the Sun uh, as far as filming everything's gonna be wrong here because the Sun's gonna be right in my eyes let me try to turn the camera like that for a few minutes and I'll get a better picture for you but uh, I don't, so I'm going to have a backlit situation, so that's going to present a problem. But if you look down here behind me, you can see the dam. I'm going to walk down to the dam down there, and you and be able to show you where we're going to be. And uh, hopefully, there's going to be some real good striper activity down there. May even catch a catfish or two. But mainly, we're going to be here after the um, after the stripers. And uh, I've always wanted to get up here, fish the dam area. A lot of water coming down, the dam's going, a lot of current, and I like doing that kind of fishing. Now, over here, when you come up to the park area, if you can see behind me, there is a some picnic tables with grills. So you can come up here and have a cookout and have a real good time. Just spend the afternoon doing a whole lot of nothing. Right here, visitor information tells you about the dam, tells you about when it was constructed, constructed, Shows you the whole, if you look here, shows you the whole lake system. Shows you the Savannah River, shows you Lake Russell. So, you, uh, you know, the Georgia side and the South Carolina side. So you get to see, you know, which parts of the lake are, are where. Also gives you a, a directory here that tells you where there's a lot of access points to the lake system. Let's take a walk down this ramp and we'll go down and take a look at the dam. Alan doesn't even know we're coming up here tomorrow. Well, he probably will if I post this tonight. But um, we're going to try coming up here. It was a hard day today fishing. We didn't find many fish, and it just could have been a whole lot better than what it really was. But uh, we're not going to quit. We're probably going to get back a little, little bit, folks. Let me turn the camera some. Make it a little bit better. There we go. Now I'm going to have to turn the camera into the sun, which means it's going to get backlit. But you'll get the idea what's going on here. This is the dam area, okay? Right here is the Savannah River, okay? That's the one part of the Savannah River. The Broad River comes in on the other side over here. Now, up above here is Lake Russell, another really great lake on the South Carolina and Georgia line to come down and striper fish, crappy fish, and things like that. But where we're going to be fishing, if you can see it, is this current water down here. Now they're not going to let us get up behind the buoys. So there's a set of buoys right here. So we're going to have to stay behind them. But there's plenty of current to fish. And I have seen some activity. As far as it is from here, it, it could be a thousand yards. And I've seen some really nice fish rise. So anyways, that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be broadcasting out here. I don't think we can do a live broadcast. I checked my phone and believe me, there's not much of a signal up here. But uh, we're going to be up here and um, doing some fishing, taping a show. Hopefully we're going to catch some fish for you. So stick around and watch for the show. Alan's going to be down here bright and early tomorrow morning. We're going to head out. We've got some places already marked where we're finding fish. Hopefully we're going to put some fish in the boat. So. Hope you enjoyed this little clip. I just want to take a few minutes and show you some of the areas down here in South Carolina. You know, South Carolina really puts a lot in for their sportsmen. They really do. I, I got to give South Carolina a shout out and, and, uh, and kind of uh, give them a little bit of notification because, I mean, South Carolina does a lot for their outdoorsmen, whether you're a hunter or you're a fisherman. All their boat ramps are clean, 
generally most of them that are public ones have restrooms. They even have a life jacket loaner system now at their boat ramp. So if you forget your life jacket, you can borrow one. So, you know, just remember that when you do come to, that's one of the reasons I like coming to South Carolina because they just do so much for their, for their outdoorsmen here in South Carolina. But anyways, I'm gonna let you go. We're gonna get back in the truck and head back and get the boat ready for tomorrow. So thanks for tuning in and watching this little clip. I'm Jim from Carolina Outdoor Magazine TV. We'll catch you tomorrow sometime on the Savannah River Lake Chain somewhere on one of these lakes. Talk to you later.